Welcome to Battle of the Brews. In this tournament style series, we will be comparing and judging beers from 16 of Richmond's best local breweries. A single elimination bracket was created for the tournament, and rankings are based on each brewery's Google reviews. In each round of the tournament, a type of beer will be selected. The best selling beer of that type from each brewery will compete head to head, based on a blind taste test prepared by our unpaid, but elite, interns. Winning breweries will move to the next round and losers will be eliminated. The brewery that survives elimination through all four category rounds will win the coveted title of champ. Just as a disclaimer, we are not beer experts and our judgments are opinion based. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This week of IPA elimination, Psychic Horse from our number four seed, Bridge Brow Brewing, will be competing against Fear Movie Lions from Stone Brewing. Get ready to rumble! Hey everybody, so we're gonna try our blind taste test. So here we have beer number one. We have beer number two. We have a light and a dark beer. There has yet to be a time where we get two beers facing off that are the same color, which I think is kind of interesting. It's crazy how that happens every time. Exactly. Clink, 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 clink. We've always smelled before we cheer. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. I can actually smell this one. Actually, yeah. this does smell like something. Smell apricot, uh, maybe a little bit of caramel. Yeah, I get the caramel a lot. Yeah, so <laughs> so this one seems like it's gonna be sweet. Right off the bat. But I also yeah. get like a subtlety of like, like honeysuckle. Mm. Mm. Bread, yeasty. I, I do get the caramel to honey scent. It's very toast. So shall we toast? And toast. Try our beers? <laughs> toast it. I thought you were going like, to agree with me, but like, you know. <laughs> you guys taste how yeah. different it is? That's a damn good mm. beer. That's strange. That's a damn good beer is what that is. I think it's good, but it's much different. Like, I'm trying to figure mm -hmm. out if I like it still. Tell you my rating I'm just right. popping my head to I'll it. I'll tell you my rating right now. I'm sticking to my apricot taste, honestly. Apricot's always been one of those fruits for me. I understand why people like it, but for me, it's not. It's not my thing. It's deriving that sweetness from something that I don't really enjoy all that much, so. This this tastes like a slice of apple pie. Yeah. Apple pie. Yeah. Yeah. With the ice cream. With the vanilla ice yeah. cream. This is a moment in history. We finally agree on a beer. <laughs> we actually agree on a beer. <laughs> Wow. Actually, you know what? I retract. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's like a bizarre, sweet, bready taste. Like, I can't say it's like a Hawaiian bread, which is like really sweet bread, but it's definitely like a sweet, hmm. off taste bread. It's something's off. What? There's so, something, yeah, there's something strange about it. Have y'all ever had um, like crumbling coffee cake? Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting a yes. bit of that and apple pie with a hint of that vanilla. And I know we've been talking about hops a lot with previous beers. Not much. The slightest mm -hmm. bite from the hops, but not much at all. Yeah, I agree. Um, so now we're going to go on to beer number two. Hopefully it's as good as beer number one. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Cheers. It. Woo! How loud can we clink these things? <laughs> I already know what this is going to taste like. Yep. We've had it three times before. Yep. It's following that formula. Yep. My nose works now. Good. By the way. Hey, are your nostrils getting fat? Yeah. Yes. All you got to do is just put some plugs up there. Stretch your... I don't know. <laughs> so could... this beer follows a classic formula for IPAs. It smells like and flowers, IPAs. hops, and fruit. It, very different than beer number one. So it, very, we'll see how it tastes. This, this was an outlier. This one is conforming. We don't know that yet. We don't know. Uh, no, it's, a, it's pretty it's good. good. It's a little different. Uh, it's pretty mm. good. So like we said off of the smell, there's a good amount of fruit in this one. I taste pear. I taste mm. grapefruit. I taste the slightest amount of citrus. You, you covered every single fruit. I couldn't even throw out a fruit after that. Yeah. When you start drinking, you get that smell of vinegar, like the, the hazier, lighter IPA color. It smells like vinegar. But then when you taste it, it's like more of a muted taste. I feel like it's missing a little bit of that citrusy tang to it. Less acidic than the last Yeah, one. exactly. Yeah. It's less acidic. This one keeps a very natural, straightforward taste. Yeah. Um, so beer number two to me is like an IPA that never grew up. Mm -hmm. This this beer is still living in its parents' basement <laughs> at the age of 43. 
and there's little hop plants upstairs. And he knows that if he goes upstairs, he's gonna get the rest of those hops. And he's gonna become a fully grown IPA man. But for now, he's just a child. Okay? It's so just they... disappointing. No, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's disappointing. Uh, I think it's the syrup would get to me after a while. I'm gonna give it a four. Okay, I gave, I gave one of the beers from an earlier episode, I gave that a 10. And I know- Here we are. Maybe I shouldn't <laughs> be doing a 10 a lot of times. It's unique, it's smooth, it's easy. It like doesn't taste like overly, like overpoweringly sweet. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I really, really stick with what I say, 10 out of 10. To me, it really isn't, uh, it's it's not like super flavorful in the right ways. Yeah, It's, it's not like, fruity, yeah, it's not the, hoppy. Each, each what is I, this beer? Each time I sip it, I'm just like, should I take another sip? This is and my favorite beer we've had on the table. Really? Yeah. yeah. It overpowers you to the point that it's too yeasty, it's too syrupy. It's a syrup. And the taste is good, but... The taste is good, but like as soon as you taste it, it's, it's too much. And... Well, it, then I feel like if it's good, you'll keep drinking it. If, it, if it's good and it's too much, then isn't that kind of no, but contradictory? Like, no, okay. So you, you drink it, you taste it, and you're like, okay, that's that's decent. But then the aftertaste and the feel comes in, and you're just like, ah. maybe it comes down to preference. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, it comes down to preference, but he, I mean, this is this is a DGB. This is a damn good beer. So I gotta say, this is the best beer that I've had on the table so far. I'm 100% mm -hmm. in agree with Garrett right there. Um, I rather prefer that this IPA is a little bit out of the box. I don't really want, uh, just like what we've been saying this entire time, which is, this is what an IPA is supposed to be. Here's a bunch of hops, here's a bunch of citrus, enjoy yourself. This is like every other IPA. Mm -hmm. I really like the uniqueness of this beer. Um, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Like I said, if it's right out on the table. I want to give this beer a Wrong. solid, boring five and a half. Higher. I rated it higher because I enjoy the taste more. However, how? What do you mean, how? I enjoy the taste of this more. It's lighter, it's more enjoyable for me mm -hmm. to drink. Mm -hmm. It's not unique. And right. I can't give it an extremely high rating because of that. That's fine. So I give it a five and a half. What did you grow into? Nothing. Look, for the time being, I, I mean, Maybe my opinion will change one day, but I know right now from this taste, get a job. I mean. Get a job. Don't don't work at Burger King. I'm sorry. I'm gonna give this a four. It's on its way to being the right thing, so I'm gonna give it a six point five mm. because <clears throat> it's on its way. Yeah. Just we are the Um, some people don't speak French. <laughs> I, I give spoke this French. beer a four. After we gave out ratings, our unpaid interns revealed the identity of the beers. Beer number one was Fear Movie Lions from our number 13 seed, Stone Brewing. Beer number two was Psychic Horse from our number four seed, Richbrow Brewing. With the help of two perfect ratings, Stone beat Richbrow, winning 26 to 20. Unfortunately, Richbrow, you have poured your last beer, and you have been eliminated. Stone Brewing will be moving on to the quarterfinals, where it will compete against Eiley Brewing. Next week, tune in to our fifth competition in IPA elimination between Triple Crossing Beer and Ardent Craft Ales. See ya!